The sixth edition of the Olympus U.S. Open Series began week one in Indianapolis at the Indianapolis Tennis Championships. Three of the four semifinalists hailed from the United States and the other from north of the border. The first semifinal featured 6'6 Californian Sam Query taking on Canadian Frank Dancevich. Query had been a semifinalist the last two years and was looking to push on that result and get to the final. Though he ran into a formidable opponent in the 2007 runner-up here, Frank Dancevich. The first set was tightly contested through the opening games. Dancevich, who lost the 2007 final to Dmitry Tursunov and got revenge in the quarterfinals to face Query, held his own against the tough Query serve. The second set found Query taking over, jumping out to a four-love lead before Dancevich fought his way back into the match. But after doing all that work to get back in the match, Dancevich saved two match points but couldn't hold on as he double faults and Sam Query advances to the final with a straight sets 6-4, 6-4 win. Semifinal number two featured the two Americans, Robbie Ginepri, a former champion in Indianapolis, and John Isner. And it was all Ginepri in the early goings, taking the first set 6-4 and putting the pressure on Isner early. The second set was much the same as Isner, who had a difficult three-set quarterfinal match, found himself lacking in the stamina department. Ginepri taking total control and cruising to a 6-4, 6-3 victory into his third career final. The final was an All-American affair for just the fifth time in tournament history. And it seemed as though the youngster, Query, would have the upper hand. Ginepri had won just four ATP-level matches coming into this week. But with the four wins to get to the final, he had established a nice run of confidence and put the pressure on Query early. Query was in his second straight final, and his serve had gotten him to this point. But it abandoned him as Ginepri was able to break multiple times and take the first set 6-2. Ginepri had been a perfect 2-0 in career ATP finals, but the last time he appeared in one was here in Indianapolis in 2005. And he was not to be denied on this day, feeling the confidence and employing the backhand that has served him so well in the past. Being able to close out the big matches is dog query all year, as he had lost his two previous finals in 2009. But it was the renewed vigor and stamina of Robbie Ginepri that helped him capture his third career title and his second in the Olympus U.S. Open Series. So despite the dominance by Ginepri over Query in 62 minutes in the 6-2, 6-4 win, there is some consolation for Sam. He's up to a career-high ranking of number 32 in the world. The victory in Indianapolis gives Robbie Ginepri not only his third career title, but it also finds him in sole possession of first place in the Olympus U.S. Open Series bonus challenge standings, followed closely behind by Sam Query, and a tie for third place between Frank Dancevich and John Isner. Week two finds the men and the women in action as they all head out to the West Coast. The women will take part in Stanford at the Bank of the West Classic, while the men will be just down the road at the L.A. Tennis Open presented by Farmers Insurance Group. Coverage can be seen on ESPN2 and Tennis Channel. We hope you'll join us each and every week as we track the best tennis players in the world all along the 2009 Olympus U.S. Open Series.